Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to the final episode of the Monica 3 series off of Monster Season. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I'm on the phone. Damn, nice. Seriously? I'm still here. Thank you. 
Gorgeous, gorgeous baby. I know, like, you kill, you kill your classmates, your teammates, girly. Shit. Excuse my language. All right. Seriously? You gotta be bluffing on that. There there should no there there's no way in heck that there is a way to like reverse all that.
right? No way it sounds like it is. Say one thing real quick. Having Death Trope, like, quote unquote, having her commit suicide isn't really the greatest because she she still cares for Shinobu. You think Shinobu don't want to have no say in this? You think she would stop this girl like immediately and be like, hey yo, don't do that to my master. No. Watch your mouth. She's with him and she's okay with that. Oh my god. I get it. I get it. But so I wanted them to be together so that they could talk more.
Do you have time to change them? I mean, no. <laughs> still, <laughs> I would have took that time to change, but he still looks good. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because secretly, I don't think you want to be a vampire. Girl, you don't care that you mummy mummify people you care about. Uh oh, okay. Can we kill her? I mean, dang. Yeah, I get that. I was like that when I was <laughs> that age, but still. No, because even as an adult, we're like that too. <laughs> no one. Oh, a donut sounds nice.
it took the longest. Yeah, I think I'm going to go on Amazon and find an outfit similar to that. That's really cute. That's like almost like the perfect date outfit. Well, I mean, because Best Girl has like every, any outfit Best Girl wears is like literally the perfect date outfit. So once again, head out of time. Thank you god thank you thank you i love you oh my god Oh, pretty. Okay. Overall, this season was really good. Yes, it was slow at times. It truly was. But I did enjoy this a lot. I, I love the fact, like, because, oh, okay. Just like I said a couple of weeks ago when I was doing the podcast with the guys, like, my biggest issue was not seeing certain characters that I really wanted to see. Yes, I understood that this was several other character stories and the the ending of their stories basically duh, their conclusion regardless and stuff but a big but but you know you're sitting here wondering where the heck is Hanukkah where is Central Hada where's all these other characters that you know we normally get to see kind of once in a blue moon possibly pop up like, okay, we're, we're going to talk about Central Hada in a minute but not having Hanukkah in here at all 
is freaking messed up because she's second best girl. Well, no, she's not even second best girl. Her and Sanjana Hara tied for number one best girl, regardless. They both should have been in this. Like, she could have, we could have had a moment, something where she just popped up. A phone, y'all did a freaking phone call for Sanjana Hara and had her pop up. Y'all didn't want to do a call, a phone call for Hanakawa? Y'all really just said fuck Hanakawa? But I get it. Maybe she's busy doing her own thing. But no, this was a really, I think, interesting arc yet season. Um, I, I, once again, I love the fact that we're seeing him more in college and stuff. Because don't get me wrong, like the, the high school years, the high school years were really good. But he, I feel like now he is a lot more mature, even though, you know, the, the child thing-esque um, is there. But I, I really want to know what the heck is going to happen next because the sky is the limit for this show. I don't know if they're going to automatically confirm something else because I haven't looked on Twitter or anything for like the last couple of hours and such and I don't want to know. But I would like to see what the heck is going to go on and happen next for, you know, this whole entire cast. Like, ish. Uh-oh. Um, but no, seriously, this was good very very brilliant i will definitely miss this a lot but seeing these characters again loved it but the big but but love the fact that you ended the last episode with the number one best girl having her in because it took me a moment i was like who the heck is this and then once she did her and then i heard goodbye the queen in her perfect freaking outfit looking stylish as always always freaking stylish the the best dressed out of all the girls in the show. I'm sorry. And that includes you, Ononoki. Even though I love Ononoki's outfit because, like, duh. That's my baby. That's what I mean, duh. But no, this whole series for this season was really, really good. Genuinely, we'll miss this a lot. Hopefully, maybe sometime in the future, like, the the goodbye between Shinobu and her master was really poetic in a way. And I hope that they get to have another moment where they can, like, catch up once again. Maybe in the near, 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 near future. But <laughs> other than that, guys, that is my reaction to you towards the entirety of the Monogatari series off of Monster Season. If you... But, well, we have to wait and see. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.